Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Blazing Saddles. So this is a donation reward from Venom0027. Uh, this is a 1974, I think it is, film uh, starring Gene Wilder, and it's a it's a western, I believe, done by Mel Brooks. And Mel Brooks movies are weird for me because they're very much either hit or miss. Um, for example, I don't like Spaceballs. I think it's dumb. Like, not even a good kind of dumb. I just think it's dumb. But on the other hand, I love Robin Hood Men in Tights. I think that movie is fucking hilarious. And just, I really love it. And honestly... Carrie Elwes is really attractive in it. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness here. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very much hit or miss for me with Mel Brooks films. Um, I do like Gene Wilder, though. I, I've not seen him in too much of anything else other than Willy Wonka, but let's be honest, he's known for that role. <laughs> um, I have seen him in Young Frankenstein, though. Um have to pronounce it correctly, <laughs> which I think is also a Mel Brooks film, isn't it? And that, that, one, that one admittedly was just more meh for me. It wasn't really great, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad necessarily. Um, and he was good in that. Um, so, so I'm excited to see something more with him here. Um, I'm not a huge Western fan. Like the entire idea of like cowboys and gunslingers and shit like that. that that's not exactly my thing um so i'm hoping that this movie balances that out with the right amount of comedy maybe some at the time this came out in the 70s some modern references um stuff like that uh kind of mel brooks style of humor um i assume he's gonna be in it at some point because i think he's in everything in some kind of role I know he was a rabbi in Robin Hood Men in Tights and in Spaceballs he I believe he was yogurt if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've seen this, but I believe he was yogurt. Um but I genuinely am interested to see what this is like because I've heard good things about it. I've heard a lot of people really look back fondly on this film. Um and the one thing I do know about it is, um, I guess there's some controversies or something over a black character in the film or how he's portrayed or something, something along those veins. Um, now I, I keep in mind this did come out in the seventies in the, in like the early to mid seventies. So it's like, I, I have to keep that in mind. I don't know, like, the details behind any of this. So I just know apparently there's something that some people find controversial about that. We'll see. I, I keep in mind the time this did come out. It was a very different time. That doesn't make it okay if there is issues there. But I acknowledge that we have progressed as a society in a much better way. And especially with films. Um, there are still some very backwards things, but there has been a lot of progression as well. Um, so I'm very invested to find out what this is about, what this is like, and hopefully I enjoy it. Um, so thank you to Venom for donating for this. Uh, and let's just get this started. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode, or to the movie, rather. So, with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. 
and we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in three two one now this was interesting um this is another one of those movies that's kind of i guess for mel brooks films that's more in the line for me as, as young frankenstein where it's just kind of okay it's it's not bad by any means in fact there's actually some really good stuff about it there are some really good jokes and even some good ideas and messages but there's also some stuff about it that just either does not work or there's some stuff that is just really uncomfortable and as i had noted this was from like 1974 that was how many years ago now Forty-seven years ago, this movie came out. Almost fifty years old. This film is one. Holy fucking shit! This movie's almost fifty years old. <laughs> Two. Um. Yeah. The things were again a lot different back then, and there were things that, even though they weren't right, even in in that time, could be gotten away with a lot more because they were more normalized. Um, but on the plus side, this film does note certain things as being in the wrong. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, first off, apparently this film had received some outcries from, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and so on in recent years and apparently now on hbo max it has a three minute disclaimer before it basically talking about you know, like you know this is all in the past and everything uh both in terms of when the movie supposedly takes place for the most part outside of the fourth wall breaking moments and in terms of when the movie came out um and i can definitely see some of the issues there with how things are portrayed or even the usage of some words, um, some slang and slurs and all that. Um, and, and I mentioned Django Unchained as a, as a comparison during the reaction and all. And, and because that movie uses those too. But just like in that movie, it very much makes it clear that this is wrong. In this movie, like, we have our main character as a black railroad railroad worker who is basically brought on as the new sheriff of rockridge basically just to fuck over the town because the the mayor wants to build his railroad through rockridge since the original route is plagued with quicksand so he wants to give them this sheriff that they'll just turn on instantly and will just make them susceptible to you know lo basically losing their town and racism is very rampant in this film um and it is very hard to watch because of that i i very much understand where people would come from with that and how it's 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 very heavy very gross very uncomfortable and just horrible to to watch but they're again making the point of telling us that it's wrong at multiple points through the movie do they they outwardly say that these people are terrible and that people who act and think and believe like this are morons and stuff and it's true like there's even a like there's even a line where um where our main character straight up says man they are dumb and it's it's true and it's for obviously just because they're actually dumb as bricks as well but also for these kinds of reasons and we see that the movie makes it very clear that yeah racism is bad 
the the people who are racist in this film are either bad guys or at least bad at first and the good guys are like openly decry that kind of uh action throughout the entire movie so it, it is making a positive statement but i can see how some people would be bothered by the way it goes about it but again it's not the only film that has done that but people have criticized Django Unchained for doing that as well. I honestly am conflicted because while it's important to know the history of how this all did happen, it is very hard to reconcile and watch something using words and slurs like that. It's, it's horrific. It made me excessively uncomfortable every time a character said it. And it's just, I, I was very, very not happy <laughs> about it. Um, I, I got pissed, let's just say. Every time I heard a character say it, it pissed me off. Because terms like that just piss me off. Um, there were also some things that were really fucking weird choices um, that I don't, that are controversial, I feel, probably for multiple reasons. The Native American, um, in the, in, in the flashback of our main character, it was Mel Brooks, in one of his multiple roles in this, speaking with a very heavy Yiddish accent, but as a Native American, and there's like, there's multiple levels at which that just does not work and comes across as kind of wrong. And it's like, here's the thing, I, I'm talking about this movie like it's very serious too, I know it's a comedy, I know it's a satire, but you have to still take into account, even with comedy and satires and stuff, there's certain lines that crossing is not a good idea to do. And when it comes to jokes about race and stuff, it's it's very much on that line. You have to be really careful about shit like that, even in a comedy, even in a satire, even when you're making a point with it. You have to be really careful about shit like that. Um, it's just, it's really hard to get this kind of thing right. And this movie, I feel, really skates the edge with some of it. There's some things in here that I cannot personally say whether they're offensive or not, because I'm I'm as white as sour cream. Um, but I could fully see if people do find them offensive. If Native Americans or Chinese people, they were represented in here for a joke at one point, or Mexican people were represented here for a joke, um, or especially, mainly, black people. Like, I could very much see people being offended by this, and I could see why. And, again, even just saying, like, oh, it was the time this movie came out, it came out in the early to mid-70s, and it's, you know, it's based in the 1800s, that still doesn't make it right. And even if you're trying to go for a more historically accurate joke in that regard, um, it, it's still very uncomfortable. So it's like, this, this movie really skated the edge with a lot of that. Um, the performances were fine. I, I had no issue with how the actors performed the roles. Uh, Gene Wilder was interesting in terms of his character. Um, starting off as kind of this drunk uh, former like badass who just becomes badass again with no real explanation despite the fact that apparently his shooting arm was terrible. And he was goofy and weird, but insightful at some points, too. And a good guy. And I, I like Gene Wilder's performance. Um, 
the actor who played our main character, uh, Bart, he was he was really good too. I, I don't know the actor offhand, but he he did a good job. Some of the actors were really fucking corny, though. I I will admit. Um, the the girl who played the um, the the German uh, uh, singer lady performer whatever you want to whatever word you want to use there she was hamming up that accent so fucking much it was ridiculous <laughs> sometimes it worked but sometimes it was just kind of confusing. Um, there were also some weird sexual jokes in here that it's like didn't really work well. And, and it was more of the execution of them. Like the governor had th this secretary who, who's just wearing this really bright and out there outfit that clashes against everything else on the sets and every other character. That also just happens to show off a lot of skin, including a lot of titties. Um, and the, the joke is not only that she's just wearing that, but the governor seemed obsessed with her tits and everything. It was like falling into them or using them as pillows briefly. And it's like, I don't think this is funny. <laughs> it's like, and again, I get the idea behind the joke, but I just, there was no proper execution to it. And it was like, just, eh. And even when he's shown again, like, clearly canoodling with her behind that curtain um it's just like okay why is this supposed to be funny and it's just stuff like that that just did not work as well um there was also going back to the race thing there's also this joke with like characters who were dressed like the kkk and it's like they're Again, they were very much shown to be bad guys. Like, everyone there was, like, cartoonishly evil. That was the point. But when Bart and Jim, like, lured them over the way they did with what Bart said there, and it's like, my mind just, like, shut down almost at that line just because it was so fucking bad. It was... It was just... I, I did not like that one. I did not like that moment. Um, the fourth wall breaking was fun. I, I enjoyed the fourth wall breaking. Um, I enjoy a good fourth wall break, and I think it was handled well here. Um, there was also some really fun plot stuff that was just so utterly ridiculous that it actually was kind of funny, such as building the mock town. I thought that was actually really funny. I, I've seen that done in other things, and it's just like, how could anybody be so stupid to fucking fall for that? And then they do, even if it's just briefly, and it's just, that is somehow funny. And I don't understand how, but it is. And it was the same thing here. I don't get why it was funny exactly. I can't explain to you why, but it was. I thought it was funny. <laughs> um, And I, I do like how cartoonishly evil this mayor guy was. Um, to the point where he was even blatantly admitting it. And it's just like, oh, okay, I, I can I can get behind that. A villain who's so cartoonishly evil that he actually admits it and, like, kind of owns it. Like, that's, that's, that's funny. That's funny. Um, and it's just... There were some good things to like about this, but there were some things that just really skirted the edge of a little too much. Um, and some things that just really made me uncomfortable. And because of stuff like that, I couldn't fully get into it. Um, I don't consider it outright bad. I don't. But I would not consider this Mel Brooks' finest work either. It's nowhere near the level of Robin Hood Men in Tights. Like, that movie is much better for so many reasons. Um, to be fair, though, there's like, what, a 20-year gap between those two movies? <laughs> so, to be fair, Mel Brooks had had a lot more time and experience to hone his 
abilities abilities the wrong word you know what i mean though to, to hone his craft in, in making these films so by that point he he was yeah gonna be a lot better in a lot of regards um yeah overall i'm just very mixed on this film again not a bad movie inherently but had so many things that were just that either didn't work or made me super uncomfortable or, or whatnot to where it's just it, it it keeps me from really saying it's that great of a film either um i can see why people love this movie but i can also see why there's some people who don't i can see why there's some i can see why it's controversial basically and i'm just kind of in the middle on that um there there's a lot of bad stuff in this film that i can't get over and there's a lot of good to it too and again it makes it very clear who's in the right and who's in the wrong in this movie and and in in a good way like it doesn't try to paint the racists or whatnot as good guys no it makes it very clear they're evil <laughs> so that's good that's very good and that's the right thing you definitely want to teach your viewers so you have to give them that um but there are some things that just yeah too much um either way tell me in the comments below what did you think of blazing saddles and for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see y'all next time